Hey, Big Scar Martial Arts family. Hey, I want to have a little quick talk with you guys. Um, obviously, we're coming to the end of this thing, hopefully. We'll get everybody back in the gym as quick as we can. I just can't emphasize enough how much I really want you guys to do these videos. So we do come back. You guys are happy with the time you had off and you used it properly. And you come back in here, you can test with your fellow classmates, and you can be at a level that you have worked towards. That being said, watching these videos as I do, I was reminded of when I was a kid. Some of you will know, the parents will know what a VHS tape is. If you do, show your kid what a VHS, test, test, VHS tape is and what that used to go into. When I was, I think around nine, for about 10 years after, so about nine to 18, 19 years old, I did a good portion of my training in our gym using videos. The reason was my instructor, he was a great man, super honorable, tons of virtue, but he didn't have the same skill sets that we have in this gym, and he knew that. He was humble enough to know that. So we watched tons of videotape on Pumse, free sparring, and in fact for me specifically, one of the best kicks I had both in the ring and out of the ring was spin hook kick. I didn't learn that from a teacher per se. I learned it from watching a video and doing it over and over and being determined to get that skill set down. But I just remember that TV, and it was one of those big TVs that's, well, I think it was 19 inches, I'm like, there's a sat up in the corner with a VHS tape player beneath that. We put that tape in, and our classes back then were about an hour and 15 minutes long. We did at least you know, 15 to 20 minutes of video every day, watching it and doing it, boom save, free sparring, boom save, free sparring, and it was invaluable. So I hope that you guys are taking advantage of these videos and doing that, and just making yourself better because of your own sheer will and determination. So keep in those classes. We'll see you guys back in class very soon. Hang in. All right, guys, welcome to week four of our quarantine classes. We probably are all going a little bit stir crazy at home, but you guys are doing really good at these classes. Again, this content is for you guys to come out on the other side, if not as good, better than what we left you guys at, right? We're gonna have a better room set, better kicking sets, and better stances, and better footwork. That's our goal for all of this. So, during week four, we're going to have a little bit of new content. Um, again, but this is just our focus on trying to be better at the end of this. As soon as we're able to reopen, we're going to have a tip test and a belt test. So, don't forget. Enjoy your classes this week, and let's have fun. Tip! 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 Kunyay! Sir! Taekwondo! Courtesy! Integrity! Perseverance! Self-control! And dominant spirit! Sir! Hadoumi! By example! Sir! Welcome to class number one, guys. We're gonna start off with warm ups, 45 second drills. First one is push ups. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go down. Remember, when we do this, we gotta make sure that back is straight. We're looking forwards, right? Yes, sir. You yes, don't sir. wanna have a low back or high back, right? That looks funky. Ready, go. Hey! Hey! Hey!
Other side, get ready. Go.
Hand is back here, chin right above our belt, so your pinky finger is just barely touching the top of your belt, nice and strong. And we'll go slow to start off with, coming back, twist at the very end, and then this one's on our belt. Then we're just going to go straight back to that one, and again, chamber super strong, my shoulders are kind of back a little bit so I have something to push with, and punch, very nice. Chamber, and punch. <laughs> Very good. Chamber. Ah! Make sure to twist at the very end. Chamber. Ah! Punch. Last one. Relax. And at the very end is when we put all our strength into it. And ah! very good. Now we'll go right into the other side. We're straight out here. This one's on our belt. Nice and slow to start off with. Really think about that last 5 or 10% when we twist. And that's where our speed and our strength comes from. Back here to chamber and punch. Ah! Chamber, punch. Ah! Chamber, punch. Ah! Chamber, punch. Ah! Last one, chamber strong and punch. Ah! Very good. Cheerio. Sir. Kunyin. Sir. Garden stands. Two me. Ah! All right, guys, let's work on our kicking, but we're going to work a little bit different than just kicks today because if we don't have any footwork or technique to kick with, then it doesn't make any difference anyways. We're not going to be able to hit our opponent, okay? So then what we're going to work on today is our slides. I'm going to turn sideways so you can kind of see this a little bit better. When we slide, don't make it too difficult. Our feet are about shoulder width apart, a little bit wider, um, just like this in a good gardening stance. I've got about 60% of my weight, so just a little bit more weight on my front foot facing my opponent than I do on my back foot. So when I can slide, both my feet are pointed basically forwards, I just lift my back leg up slightly, barely, barely perceptible, and push with my front foot to slide back. It's not a huge jump, right? It's not one foot comes up and then we drag the other one back. It's just a little tiny pick up with the back foot and push with the front. And you could do this all the way across your living room if you need to, to get the idea of what it should feel like, okay? So with me, I want you guys to do this kind of slow. And we're just gonna lift up that back foot a little bit, just so you can barely, barely get a piece of paper underneath it. And then with your front leg, you push backwards, just like that, okay? And then readjust. Come right back here, nice and loose. You guys can even bounce a little bit if you need to. Hands are up, good guarding stance. Lift that back foot just a little bit and push. Okay, perfect, you guys are doing great. Keep it up, one more time slow and then we'll try it out. Pick up that back foot just a little bit and slide back, good. Come back to your spots. When we do this, make sure uh, when you slide back, you are gonna put a little bit more weight on the back foot, but just enough where you push yourself back forwards, so we're always fighting in a forward stance. With me, we're gonna count these off and do 10 of them on each side. Here we go. One, ah! very good. Then just step forwards, and again, two. Ah! Very nice, back forwards. Three, ah! four, ah! five, ah! six, ah! Good. Make sure you have somebody watching you too so that you're not doing too big of a slide. They can show you if you're only going four inches, maybe six inches maximum. So there we go. And six. <laughs> seven. <laughs> eight. <laughs> nine. <laughs> and ten. <laughs> Very good. Switch your feet. Sir. Another thing you guys can do that's kind of fun is get your little brother or sister or your parents. Have them grab a pillow or maybe one of the paddles that you have and they can take a swing at you and you have to make a miss by just a little bit. You don't want to make a miss by a lot, but just by your body motion moving back, you're going to make them miss a little tiny bit. That way you're ready to kick when they, after you make a miss and set their foot down. So get your pillows out and let's try it on this side. We're going to go back just a little bit and one. <laughs> Sliding forward. Two. Good. Let your little brother get set with his pillow and let him take a big swing. And three. Four. Five. Good. Now make sure when you guys slide back too, we're not moving our body all around. We're not going this way to the side or back. It's just a quick little slap. Okay. And six. Seven. 
It's a good technique to get used to sliding back and instead of hanging out there and waiting for your opponent to kick, we're just sliding back and advancing on our opponents. This last one we're gonna do is a, a slide back roundhouse kick. Here we go. One. Ba-ba! Land in front and then go back. Two. Ba-ba! Make sure when you kick on that roundhouse kick, you're getting your knees straight across. Table that leg and put your foot straight across or kicking sideways. Three. Ba-ba! Four. Speed 
to power.
Good job. Have a good rest of your week.